there is something which lies at the heart of all of our technology, which we probably never even think about, in things that are quite close to us, like our computers or our telephones. Every call, every internet search and email uses algorithms for its foundation. It is at the core of the most cutting-edge research today. In order for physicists to uncover the smallest or the largest structures in the universe, mathematics is needed. And when every strand of DNA and protein structure in our bodies is to be sequenced and mapped, mathematics is necessary, ensuring that biologists and physicians will bring us the medicines of the future. I think the need for mathematics and mathematicians has increased quite a lot over the last few decades, in part because of the technical development. So there are new challenges. Examples come from, say, search engines like Google, but also, say, from the uh, capital investment market, where the mathematical tools that are being used have become much more advanced uh, than they used to be. And so there is need for actual mathematical competence that goes beyond what, say, a standard engineer learns. This is Villa Mitag Leffler. Not many people know about this place, even though it's a meeting place for the world's mathematicians. They've been gathering here for 100 years. Now, as the world becomes increasingly digitalized and mathematics in turn increasingly important, the level of activity here is rising as well. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I'll, I'll just try to continue where I, where I took off. So the deal was this, that we, we look at the, the generators of this... Uh... So if I go back 10 or 15 years, uh, resources were pretty slim, so it, it was tough and it has become much better. So in part because of the Wallenberg Foundation and their, their uh, math program, so the thing has improved. And in general one can say that mathematics is not a very expensive enterprise, so we don't need a lot of resources, but we do need a sort of steady flow of, of resources in order to, to conduct the science. When we try to prove d squared equals zero, so let me draw it. Today, Tobias Eckholm is presenting portions of his work on something called symplectic geometry. K zero equals zero, and here we have K one equals zero. And we get that we have a one parameter family of, of equations, right? This postulates on how the space in a room is spread out according to string theory, a theory in which everything in the universe is made up of small vibrating strings. These areas of physics and mathematics are very difficult to grasp, but they are nevertheless needed in order to understand how the most minuscule things work in accordance with Einstein's theories about the largest objects. Tobias Eckholm does his part of the calculations here in a classical environment. This is Justa Mitog Leffler, one of the biggest names among a number of world-leading Swedish mathematicians. He and his wife built the villa for both accommodation and studies. Before the Nobel festivities were held in the Blue Hall, winners came here to celebrate. At that time, Mitag Leffler was world famous among scientists and scholars, notorious for his Mitag Leffler function for being given honorary doctorates by six foreign universities and perhaps above all, as the founder of Acta Mathematica, a journal which was the first to gather new mathematical discoveries and is to this day still one of the world's finest of its kind. In his senior years, Mitag Leffler bequeathed the house to mathematics. So Mitter Leffler donated this house to the Swedish Academy in order to create a mathematics research institute that should be central on the international and national mathematical scene. His vision was that at this place there, sh there should be kind of the best mathematicians in the world debating the hottest mathematical research topics. Now with a fresh start, Villamitog Leffler is effervescing with the spirit of new discovery. The Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation invests in mathematics, 
allocating 160 million Swedish crowns to facilitate Sweden regaining a world-leading position in mathematics internationally. 40 million crowns is for the Mitog Leffler Institute for renovations which have already increased the total number of research positions. 120 million crowns is given to universities around the country to enable them to focus more on international exchanges in this field. 24 Swedish postdoctorates get to travel abroad. 25 foreign visiting professors come here along with a large number of foreign postdocs, all to enrich Sweden's standing in mathematics. Oh, hey, I have a problem. <laughs> One mathematician who is receiving the benefits of these ventures is Anna Karin Tornberg, currently visiting at Mitog Leffler, but who in everyday life is a professor at Stockholm's Royal Institute of Technology. Anna Karin and her team are working on a project where mathematics meets nanobiotechnology. So these drops are tiny, tiny drops, water drops in oil. And in these small systems, they act like little test chambers. So you put a cell or a large molecule in there and you want to test for certain reactions of the cell. Okay, so we can see there is fear. But these drops of water which are lying in oil are not perfect and sometimes leak. Anna Karin and her team use something called numerical analysis which renders mathematical models and algorithms of these in order to understand the leakage and to stop it. They convert all the properties of these droplets into numbers, which are then entered into powerful computers. Then simulations are run to find the causes of these anomalies and their solutions without the need of carrying out experiments in a real laboratory. Using the same process, we can save time and money in industry as well. For example, when producing a new material, computer simulations and mathematics can give us 10 different variations before we actually decide to do a test copy of the one which looks most promising. And I've talked to people in different companies and I mean the, the time reduction that you get in like calendar time to actually for these processes, it's like a factor of 10 that you can reduce it with by working this way. So it is very important. You know how to discretize this, and you're, you know what your weights are and this. everything. So do you... Right now, I think it is in the implementation. Through the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation's mathematics program, Anna Karin Tornberg has been able to recruit postdoctorate Chiara Sarkantone from Italy. So you see that if you sum here, they cancel out. This international exchange is very important, according to Anna Karin Tornberg. Well, research is by nature international. I don't think that you can think about it, not in my field, at least you cannot think about it in an international terms. We all act on an international arena and we, we publish, we read each other's works, we meet at conferences and so So it's extremely important to, to exchange ideas with others. So of course this is a vector, so one on one zero, zero, zero for every point. So it is a three, and vector if we have endpoints on the sphere. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy to have this opportunity to come here. You know, KDH is a really famous and, and important uh, university, and uh, especially in my field, in, uh, in the numerical analysis field, they have uh, really good researchers. Chiara Sorgentone and Anna Karin Tornberg's research is a good example of the ever increasing need for mathematics. New frontiers require new calculations. At universities, the latest research in biology requires new numerical analysis to process huge amounts of data. Mathematics is increasingly becoming an integral part of both the research as well as within the business sectors. Mathematicians will have to be there when the research and technology is to be applied to real-world solutions. But along with the practical, both Anna Karin Tornberg and Tobias Ekholm agree that mathematics must also be allowed to develop independently without knowing what the results will be. Here's an example of this. The telecommunications masts which stand on the rooftop of Villa Mitog Leffler assign IP addresses with the help of number theory that was developed long before mobile phones existed. And analog voice is converted into digital signals via a 200-year-old transform. Part of the idea with mathematics and also other 
development in society and business is that we don't really know the answers to all the questions. So somehow they cancel out or it seems to be right, but when you don't... Sometimes you only see after what mathematics was actually what was the most useful or things that you did not think would be so useful turns out to be really useful. You need to have this develop fairly freely and not to focus on specific problems but rather rather general research culture in mathematics. There must be basic research in mathematics that is allowed to thrive and to, to drive the field forward. 